Hello everyone, Sargon Destroyer of Worlds here, and thank you for joining me again for another episode of Farthest Frontier. Yes, we are back in Stark's Corner as spring arrives, and things are well underway here. Uh, you can see we have a little more construction going on here. We do have some homes being built, but I think we're going to not build these. I'm going to have to look at relocating. Uh, and all the other buildings we've had under construction are now done. We have a couple of farms built. We're gonna do another one here. But yeah, we're going. Oh, we're out of arrows. That's not good. I think we have a Fletcher. So let's let's get into this before we uh, get into any further trouble. So yeah, our hunter cabin looks like he needs ammunition. But we do have down here our Fletcher underway. Uh, so we should be getting, oh, village attacked by a predator. Oh, this isn't good because our hunter could use a bow and arrow. Uh, we are producing arrows, but let's change the work rate. Um, we have four bows in storage. So I think we want to produce four to one ratio. Let's go with that for now. Let's see where this predator is. Right in the heart of the city. And it's a bear. Oh my goodness. But the hunter's on it. So let's uh, let's see how this, <laughs> this uh, unbearable situation. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Okay, not really. Let's see how this uh, situation unfolds here. With our hunter taking on the bear. Oh, he's booking it. He's like, oh crap. Uh, help. Anyone? Anyone? Okay, now the bear is attacking the building. And nobody wants to deal with the bear. Hunter's gone back in for another... Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, no. That was a mistake. Go, Hunter, go. Run, run, run. <laughs> oh, no. The hunter... The hunter's become the hunted. This isn't good. Oh, what a way to start. We have things to do. Oh, and down goes the hunter. Oh, no, no. Guy with basket. He got into his, uh, oh, he got into his fishing shack. I guess it was the fisherman here. Oh, sorry, dude. <laughs> oh. Dropped our fish, the beans. This isn't good. If he only had bow and arrows. All right, Gia. <laughs> You're up next. On the... Oh, crap. There's a bear in our midst. He's over here. Oh, oh. wait a minute. What's the bear up to now? Oh, no, no. Run. Okay. Let's make sure. I don't want to lose another uh, citizen here. So you continue to run. Actually, let's see if we can get them ambushed. Somebody has bow and arrow. There we go. And who got the kill here? Gia, yeah, our new hunter. Way to go. Way to go. All right. That was uh, an exciting way to uh, start the uh, the episode. Um, and our... Oh, somebody has nicely already buried our hunter. Um, out of sight, out of mind. So our goal here, we do need to get our town center upgraded. So we do need wood planks. We have five. Well... Five is in the number, but we kind of need to add a zero over here. So we need need a lot more planks so we can upgrade our town center. So then we can build our trading post. See if we can find where that one is again. Uh, I believe it's here. Yeah, trading post. So we will need 40 planks and 10 stone. So we have, we have the stone. We do not have the planks. So if we come over to our saw pit, we do have two people working on it. 
So that is good news. Plenty of firewood. We need more logs. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure this area here is set to harvest. And I can tell you why is we will come in here. Look at this coal, lots of coal. And uh, coal, if we come into, I believe it's resources. Uh, let's find it here. Yeah, the coal mine. Uh, it's not very desirable to be around the coal mine. So these homes are all gonna have to move these might be fine. We might get away with moving them over to this road here. But we are going to have to uh, rethink how everything is laid out. So I think what we're going to do... Yeah. I think what we're going to do... Oh, what do we got here? Some disease. Well, that's... Oh! Lightning. Grease lightning. Uh, check our food situation. It is poor. So let's get another farm on the go here. And this will also help frame things out for us. So we come in here. Farm. Whoa. Not a good day to be outside. So there's our 10 by 10 farm. So this will give us our frame for how far we need to go with our roads. We'll just extend that up. And, oh, I wish I had kept a better clue as to where that actually ended. Okay, right here. We should be able to get a road in. There we go. And that means also over here, we can extend our road to come on and meet this one over here. Yeah, eventually this hunter's cabin's gonna move. We'll put another farm in. But I think what we're gonna have to do is kind of assume Constructed by wall. Oh, yeah, we have a fence there. Who put that there? Oh, yeah, that was me. So we will have to look at moving our homes so we can get a coal mine here. So we're, we're just going to stop all the construction of these. This entire area is going to be rethought. It's unlikely that these homes will be able to stay. You know, some down here might. But with that being said, we will want to make sure that the area is desirable to live in. And having them all off by their lonesome is not good. Okay, so we have uh, food being taken. Oh, and our food just jumped. I guess we had a good harvest. Look at that. I guess we really didn't need this uh, uh, farm, but it's being built. Uh, it's the only thing that's currently being built, but let's uh, deprioritize that as a beautiful sunny day arrives. Got our Fletcher underway. Cobbler is cobbling. So we've got pelts. Basket shop. Saw pit is fully stocked. Tannery. I mean... Fully resourced. Okay, we're about to hit a population uh, freeze here, um, or at least homelessness. Okay, so the homes do need to be resolved. So we're going to come in, and I believe it's here. We're going to delete this fence. And we're just going to come right across with the road. Ooh, and we have deer sighted. Awesome. We can reposition this and hopefully get some more deer. But with that said, and our deer being here, I th think what we need to do as well is we're going to come in and put in, sorry, not there, our 
expenses. And we are going to put a fence here. Fence there. And we will put at least a gate here. And as these trees are removed, it's gonna be easier to figure out where everything is, but we do want the uh, fences here to help keep the deer away from our, our food and our field specifically. Okay, so while we wait, we still need 25 planks. We can look at getting a new grid started here. So I think what we're gonna do is gonna come into our housing and we'll get some, oh. Oh no, okay, so we can come in and we can remove and actually salvage all of this here. Because we won't have, we won't need fencing along here. So now we'll come back in to, and I'm just key smashing here today. And we're gonna put a home. We're gonna have to wait for the wall to be removed. So we're gonna wait for the wall to be removed, although we don't need it right up on the road, but I think that's what we would like. It's nice you can salvage some of these resources here. So that is good. Big rock. Just anxiously awaiting for all this to come in. Now let's see if we can change the harvest area. We'll do that over here. We can get some more blueberries. And we can eventually move. Actually, we can do that now. I wonder how close to this water can I get the blueberries? Okay, I can't get blueberries here. So you can relocate blueberries Put them near a forager shack. But we're gonna have to figure out the best spot for those once we get things a little more settled. It would have been nice to put them here, but the game won't let us. And this is really an industrial area, so we're gonna have to really think about that. I would love, love, love to be able just to say, upgrade, gotta wait. So I think we might look at doing a tad bit of exploring. Get our explorer's flag. Let's see up to this lake here. sure this hunter's cabin is right where these deer are. Let's see if we need to reposition this forager shack. Well, that's, that's a pretty good haul right there. Yeah, this is just the bit of the waiting game. Look at all this rock, it's beautiful. It's in a somewhat convenient spot, but yet very annoying. Maybe we'll move the wagon up, getting close to where they're taking these logs. And we can start actually upgrading some of our roads as well. So let's work on upgrading what is effectively probably Main Street or one of them. Upgrade here. And let's upgrade this road as well. I think that's looking pretty good.
Well, actually, what I could be doing here at the same time. Let's speed things up. Why are we going at slow speed? Come on. Move it, move it, move it. Okay, Police Academy reference for those that are of that uh, vintage. Mahoney. Looking good. This field, though. Let's check out the stats. Fertility's increasing, uh, weed level's decreasing, the rockiness isn't too bad at all. We just got the clover. Yeah, that's a field covered in clover. Uh-oh. There's no room for any more villagers. So let's... Oh, I think uh, these logs are taken down, which is good. Now, I just don't know why nobody's picked this up. So maybe, let's see if we can actually build a house. Yeah, okay, so we can do that now. We're gonna build... One, apparently, because there's still more wall. Which is really hard to see. Oh my goodness. It looks really nice. Love the detail. So this will help. Let's prioritize the construction of said shelter. All of our food, although most will spoil within the next 12 months, but uh, we're going to eat well. That's the beautiful thing about getting farming going so early. Oh no, our Fletcher is full. I wonder if our other storage is full. Okay, let's have a look, see, stockyard. Still has plenty of capacity. That's the tannery. Oh. Getting used to all these buildings, just trying to find. I know we have a store, actually, so confident we do. So that's the root cellar, which that in itself is getting full. Okay, we will build. I think another root cellar while we're thinking of it. Let's come into here. Put another root cellar next to the farms. There's storehouse. Thursday. Oh no, pending blizzard. But we have. Looks like plenty of firewood. Our planks are almost there. Okay, no, plenty of room. I guess just nobody, uh, I guess just since they're producing oh so well. So let's have a look-see. Ooh, thank goodness we had uh, that house built. 160 arrows. We're doing quite well there. I think maybe what we're going to do is go burr. We're going to come to the Fletcher building, and we're just going to turn that off. Oops, um, this, we'll just disable that for now. And the reason is, is we can put, because we only have four laborers, that isn't good. Where else can we take advantage of things? Brochure, stocking market. Okay, well, no, that's important. Okay, yeah, uh, we definitely need some kids to grow up and get to work. Because our lack of laborers is definitely slowing things down. But the beauty of it being winter at the moment is you can definitely come in here and salvage the building. And we can remove these fences. What was I thinking? Or did I put all this in the wrong spot? Tail the tape might tell. But okay. So, guys, please pick all that up. Please. So we'll come back to our housing. 
and we will place another building there. I guess it's not going to let us until... Oh no, it's I was on top of the other building. That's... That would be the issue. Okay, so we have two new shelters being built. We will get that prioritized because we are running out of space. Hey, we have the logs. Okay, missed this. So let's come in and... Oh, and now we need stone. So... Somebody, please uh, prioritize this. Oh, because we're upgrading our roads. Oh no, oh no. <laughs> oh. Let's make sure, thank goodness we've got lots of rock around. The question is, can they harvest the rock before <laughs> it's used for the roads? I need it, I need it. I'm like, why can't I upgrade? Oh no. Uh, can I pause? No. I cannot pause the upgrading. Okay, so let's see. We just need one more rock. One more rock. Dwayne the Rock Johnson, please come. We need you. Upgrade. There we go. Haha. -ha. This will look beautiful, though. Let's get that prioritized. Look at that cobble road, though. Get more of that coming up. You can see the difference. They'll work a little faster and just looks a little more beautiful. And I guess while we're at it, we can come in and put our fencing that we want along here. And I guess uh, for consistency, we'll put that there and we'll come in and the gate looks nice things are coming together and yes we need stone yes yes i'm fine with that but look at this our new town center wicked does not look pretty Loving it. Definitely do some decoration around that, or maybe we'll put defenses. We'll figure that out. Because they'll eventually come for that. So now we can kind of look at getting our... Not healer's house. The trading post. Trading post is going to be extremely beneficial. Well, we can put that over here. Uh, and I think we put that there. How far down? Okay, so I think the question is, oh, I'm just trying to see. I think we're going to put it here. I think that makes sense. It's near our industry. So that can start being built. Planks will be a limiting factor, but hey, we already got 23. This is awesome news. And our new field is ready. We apparently have fencing on it. Let's, uh... Or is that part of the field? Oh, that's part of the field, sorry. Oh, okay, okay, cool, cool, cool. So, let's slow things down. We are gonna put uh, same cycle we've done before. Peas, clover, maintenance. Peas, clover, maintenance. Peas, clover, maintenance. That should work out quite well. Now we also can do is we're gonna put a road right along here. 
we'll run that road up a little further. And then we can fence this in with our beautiful farm fencing. And we can put a little gate in. Some gate action. All right. Things are beginning to come together. So the big thing will be now, let's get this going. And look at that. So we can't ignore this. So we come into our resources. What do we need to get the coal mine going? We need a wagon shop. It's under storage. Okay, so come to storage. We need planks, which we are out of. Stone and just hard work. So this isn't a very desirable building. We will keep it kind of over in our industry section over here. And you know what? I'm gonna... No, we'll, we'll squeeze it in. We'll, we'll put it right up, buddy buddy up with the, the saw pit. Works for me. Because the nice thing is, uh, make a plank, needs a plank. Makes a plank, needs a plank. Sorry, not you, Tannery. You have no plank needs. Uh, but this is where we need the planks. It's prioritized, so hopefully it gets them first. Oh, oh wow. We are doing well for food. Uh, speaking of wells, well, well, well. We do need to put a well up here. It is under resources, yes. Let's find one nice bonus area. 64, 60. Yeah, we put it right there. That works. So this will help. I'm sure these folks have water. Let's make sure we have dirt road running up. And I think what we'll do is we will have that road now come across. We can also have it come across here. Deer are probably thinking, okay, tonight, I go from the right, you go from the left, and then we attack the clover. So actually, you know what? We're doing so well with food. Um, oh, it's coming from the, yeah, so we are getting, sorry, we're getting a lot of vegetables, a lot of, a lot of peas. Oh, just changed over. So now these guys will do field maintenance. Still have some weeds. But, uh, workers will help. Now we probably have too many farmers. We have six laborers. Let's cut back the number of farmers. They, they can work a tad harder across the three fields. But wait a minute, why are we doing so poorly here? Yep, it's because we've been building farms. So definitely something to keep in mind as you go. Now, the one thing I don't know if they've added in while we wait for this is whether we get notified when a trader arrives. I know that's been a common complaint. You have to keep an eye open for them, but we've, you know, people have been asking for a notification to pop up when a trader, tra trader, not a traitor, a trader actually arrives. Man, look at that willow bush, so good. Are we actually getting willow? Hopefully we are. So this one's not collecting any willow. What about this one? You have willow? You collected some, so let's readjust where this forager is actually foraging. I wonder if they'll actually cross. This is something we don't know yet. We'll have to keep our eye open whether they'll actually come across because 
This little island actually has a lot of willow, some herbs, with some blueberry bushes that we'll move later. Ooh, a whole bunch of blueberry bushes. Nice. Very nice. We're nine, seven planks away. Looking good. Okay. So our wagon shop won't be built for a bit. Let's see what else we can look at actually building. An apiary. I believe it's how it's pronounced. So we get honey. I like honey. So this is a neutral desirability building. I think what we can do... You know, maybe we should look to have it up by where the farmers are going to be. Let's do that, and... Get that going. What else can we look at starting to build? Okay, we don't have access to clay yet. Uh, we'll have to keep our eye open for it. So there's no point yet of building a potter building. A weaver. So we don't have any flax, but this will be something that'll be very helpful. Candle shop. Ooh, candles will make some great money for us. So let's get a candle shop going. I mean, come over here. And we'll have it... Oh, we can have it face both ways. So we'll back it off and put it right here. Oh, the planks. Oh, maybe we should look at potentially... Maybe we can upgrade. Oh, we don't have bricks. Need a heavy tool. Be nice to get an additional worker, but I think we're gonna need another saw pit. Because planks, I think, is now gonna become our limiting factor. So let's come back into resources. And we can put a saw pit, basically kitty corner to the next, the other one. In fact, has this been started yet? It has, but I'm not worried about that. There's just a bit of rock. That's fine. Uh, let's put them next to each other. And then we will rethink the site of this one. The candlestick shop or the candle shop. So we do need to come back in. Oh, what did we delete? Oh, okay. Uh, so the candle shop was one of them for sure. Give that its own space over here. We are going to come in and prioritize the saw pit. Need one more plank. Come on, it's there. So we can start trading. This would be great news. Please. We can also speed things up again. Okay. And now just some people working on it. And boom! Looking good. Look at this. We have our trading post all up and running now. Now we need things to trade. This is going well. So this is the next big step. Once you kind of get things started and then you can get your town center upgraded, is get a trading post. And that is a trader coming in. And oh, we're full up at the end. We're having two. Oh, it's a big party. Hey, folks. Okay, we're going to slow things down here. Hey, and they've added the notification. A new traveler merchant has arrived. Huzzah! Woot woot! And you can see an icon of who has arrived. And this is another one here. Just coming in. So we have two. Okay. So we're going to slow things down a lot. Because we haven't done any trading yet. 
Now, the traders have a maximum amount of gold and they value different things. So I, I wonder if one, okay, we have 200 gold. So let's transfer all the gold to our trading post. So that'll take a minute. So as you can see here, they're buying this at a higher price, which is good. We have nothing. Oh, but we have some logs. Okay, that is of some value. And they're selling fish. We don't really need fish. Now, this is of extreme value, these heavy tools. We don't have enough money for them. So we do need them. So let's look at the second trader. They're also buying logs, some pelts, some baskets. We could probably trade these baskets. Just move them all over. Uh, let's see. Shoes. They like shoes. Okay, let's transfer 10 shoes over. A bunch of stuff we don't have but what are they selling here they got some clothes they do have clay which would be nice candles so they're they're not buying they're selling and they're more expensive than normal that's not good so not much but there is a way to bring in some money we come back here Okay, we might be, okay, they're buying clothes for 23 gold. Can we take advantage of this? They're selling for 15. Okay, let's, let's uh, make some trades between these folks here. Okay, can't buy all those. We can buy up to Thirteen at the moment, but we'll buy more. We're gonna buy in stock. We're gonna keep them in the trading post. Okay. Did that trade not go through? Let's have a look see again here. Okay, once again, we'll go to 13. Hmm. It is not wanting to complete the transfer. We have the gold. We are trying to buy because they are selling. I do want to buy. I wish I could buy that much. I don't have that much money. Try this again. All right. So it doesn't like it when I just type it in. So we have that. Now we come back over here. And we can go 12. Oh, please tell me I didn't mess this up. Oh, here we go. So we can come here and we're going to sell all 12. I'm going to sell them. See, now we have 303. And now we can come back. So this is a little trick here. You can potentially make trades and make some money by just trading back and forth if you have happen to have two traders at least in at once 
and that would allow us to buy one of these. But we're going to continue to see how much more we can take advantage of this relationship, this beautiful relationship that we have now built. Now, thankfully, it's pretty quick. Oh, they're staying a long time. I wonder if that's glitched. They're here for a year. So that's good news. Okay, so where are we? We're coming back here. And we can sell all those. Look at how much money. We started with just over 200 gold. We're now up to nearly 700. So that is a little, little thing you can do to make some easy, quick money. Now, while all that's going on, let's take a little walk away and just see how we're doing. So we've got more laborers on the go. We have less in the farm, but we've got plenty of food, so not too, too worried about it. I think we kind of speed things up as we get through winter. Yeah, things are going well up here. Things are going very well. Oh, I know the one that we were forgetting. We need to build the wagon shop. That's what... Uh, it's like, I deleted a building, need to build it. So put the wagon shop here. This is the one we're gonna prioritize over this one, even though, uh, oh, and this needs clay. I didn't even notice that. Okay, so good thing we have some traders in. So you have to be careful. There's only so much gold they actually have. But we will, and obviously only so much of an item. But we can take advantage of the situation. So that uh, we can make as much money as we can. And that's almost at the limit. So we can sell. But maybe what, ooh, what we can do is now we will come in and... We'll buy one. Transfer that to the town storage. Not sure there's anything else that she is selling that we currently want. As much as we could buy another heavy tool, she will be back. And well, she'll still be here for a while, so we're fine. Okay, what would we want to buy from this guy or maybe sell still? Now we have some linen clothes, which we don't really need, but we could use some clay. How much clay do we need? We need 15 clay. So let's come in. Uh, we can buy... Yeah, I want to do 45, but okay, we'll buy 44. And that should do us well for the moment. We'll have to look. There are only certain buildings that that heavy tool or that. Sorry, there are certain buildings that heavy tools actually required. But we're not going to look to build those at the moment. If we have a look. Got a lot of the key stuff built. I really want to get this coal mine built. That's going to require that to be built. And then we can see the pollution range, uh, which I think this home here is going to be within that range. So we have the ability to relocate a building. So we are going to relocate this shelter. And we'll move it there. And now we know where we want to put this new road. Oh, yes, we do need additional homes. So good call and reminder here. 
So we do want to keep growing. I don't want to grow too big too fast. I want to keep things manageable. Now this is one of the challenges of trying to build in a forested area. There we go. Food stocks are low, oh my goodness. We were doing oh so well. So we have crop disease here, well, that's not good. And I wonder if that's because we don't have as many farmers as we should. I don't know the exact impact of that. But we need food, food please. Oh, now they're both there. Okay, you only have just one on top. Okay, so if we come over here and look, maybe we should look to, well, spring's here. So this, this will all come back. We'll be fine. It's fine, it's all good. Oh, predator decided, uh, speak a little too quickly maybe. We have a bear. It do. Now that bear is going to come towards where we have one of our hunters. Now the question is, will that fence keep the bear out? So far it looks like it is. Oh, 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 oh. A little help, please. So the bear's having none of it either. But I want that bear. Where'd the bear go? Uh-oh. Villager is unhappy. Yeah, I'd be unhappy if I was told to go chase down a bear. I get it. I 100% I appreciate where you're, you're coming from, but... Okay. We've now kind of lost uh, support from the rest of the villagers, so we will return back to our regularly scheduled hunting. That's the beauty of the hunter. So this just needs five more. Oh, more wildlife crops. No, bad. Let's get this uh, built though. And we should look at, I think we need to put back in a Fletcher. Although we still have plenty of arrows. Maybe that's not 100% uh, necessary. So let's turn that back off. So crops are still being eaten by wildlife. I wonder if there's an opening right here. Let's uh, nope. move that out of the way. Oh, yes, there would be. But I wonder if I can do a double gate. So I made a mistake, potentially. So if I do this and this, because there is a fence here, but there's no gate, there's no gate, and there's no fence in this corner, which I want to make it into a field eventually. So we will see what happens. So maybe that will help solve part of our problem. Now, we are three away from getting our wagon shop. So as you can see here, there is a bit of initially puzzle of, okay, I wanna get something built, but there are prerequisites, and in this case, the wagon shop which we are so, so close. Let's get things sped up here. And then we can get our coal mine built, I believe it is. 
Five, four, three, two, one. Yes. So we now have our wagon shop. So this should allow us to come into our resources. Yes, we now can do a coal mine. And we will build a coal mine right here. So we will need planks. So we get this started. We'll prioritize it. Let's get this done. So this is a key thing I want to get done this episode is get our coal mine built. And we can get this resource harvested. And there's a lot of it here. As you can see, I believe, yeah, right here, 8,633. Beautiful. Ah, oh, and we're still losing crops to wildlife. Maybe what we should do now We'll do it in the winter. Uh, try to remember, we'll move the hunter's cabin up just outside of the area here. Oh. Hey, dude. Um, like, would you not? Like, you got hawthorn here and some hazelnuts and, you know, stuff, blueberry bush. So they're just kind of ignoring things. Hmm. Some tree stumps in the way. I think we can look at, uh, no, nah, we won't upgrade that. Not looking to upgrade that yet. Cholera, uh-oh. So Cami as with cholera, contaminated water. Oh no. Um, so let's look at our water situation. So we'll come into resources. In terms of wells, we have a well here. So nothing should be contaminated. we have our industry well away from our residences it could be maybe she lives here and she's going to this well but this well is designed to protect these buildings from fire so that's not good so maybe what we're gonna do is let's just start relocating our homes up here At least relocate uh, these two here. Okay, so that is done. We have things running. Oh, things running again. So just planks, firewood is, is uh, doing okay. Plenty of logs, plenty of rocks. We have some clay that we've traded for, which we do need to find our own deposit. And hopefully on this side. So maybe what we'll do is we'll send out a little searcher there, explore, see if we can find some. Otherwise we're gonna have to look to trade for clay. Would prefer not to. But this will help. Let's take uh, this road up here. Get that going. And we have a housing shortage. Oh no! Okay, used to accept them all. Sure, why not? Come on in, more the merrier. <laughs> we don't have a housing problem. And you want a school. All right. So let's just get our uh, housing situation sorted out. Sorted out. Because we're short. Get some homes built there. Now 
and we want to be careful. I've I've uh, play tested, and the boars are not very friendly, folks. So I think what we want to try to do is find our way, and this is the one advantage of fall. I'm not sure if there's a overlay key that really allows me to uh, kind of unsee the the trees. That would be nice. Versus, well, the simplest way of, please remove these. I think we got room for one house here, so we kind of missed that. Like I say, one of the challenges of doing this. Oh, actually, I don't want to exactly do that there. I think I want it up a little closer to the road. There we go. So we'll see. We shall see. We are 18 planks away. We have our saw pits at full capacity for what we can do at this point. See, you can see here, we do need a heavy tool to upgrade these. But we need bricks and iron. So we're well, long ways away from getting these guys upgraded. But that's fine. Anything else that we have a look-see that we want to accomplish today? Come into our resources. Continued housing shortage. Got it. We're working on it. You know, maybe the mayor should not have accepted all those wayward travelers, but hey, we're a friendly bunch here. We will want to look to build the school here. So maybe what we're going to do is let's have a look. Amenities. School. All oh, with any gold, clay. So we can get it started and then just pause things. I can see putting the school here and we'll continue to build out around it. So let's just pause that construction. So we know where we've placed it. We know where we want it to go. Let's get these homes built. We need homes. Homes, homes, homes. Get all that prioritized. Along with this. We have only have like four priorities. Not a big deal. So let's look to see. Yeah, we got plenty of laborers. That's not a problem. Plenty of food again. And look at this. 20 food in stores. Only three will spoil in the next three months. Oh, sorry. Only three months of food will be spoiled in the next 12 months. My apologies. Anxiously waiting for this. We've got our homes being built. Fields are going through crop rotation. And I think we've actually gone through. So one of the things we'll do next episode as well is Go through this first crop field and redo it. And this one's been through a full cycle, looks like, too. So that one can be done as well. This is going through its first one. You can see 59% weeds, 4%. This is at 14%. So by the time we get around to it, the weed level and rockiness level should be decreased in our second field. Yes, I know, housing shortage. Can't you tell? We are dealing with it. Everything's prioritized. That will be solved. That house will be built. You'll no longer be able to complain. And I'm really anxious to see how bad our pollution is from that. And this market, well, right now it's serving these folks here. But we will have to look at uh, moving and building a new one. Why are you so unhappy? I'd be happy, 80% died as me. Warm. Happiness is pretty good. Health is good. Not sure what uh, you're totally unhappy about. Now, 
we will get better uh, vegetables and whatnot as we rebalance our fields. But maybe what we should look at doing is building another forager's hut. So there's some greens out here, some nuts, and nice iron ore deposit here too. Well, nice, 136. So maybe what we need to do is build another forager's hut and we have some greens out here. So that's what we're going to do. Come out here, forager shack. I can build that out here. What's nice, these only take logs. So that's not gonna be something that's gonna take too long to build. Hey, look at this. Oh, wait a minute, what? No, I thought we were solved. Oh, maybe because these are the ones we were relocating. Maybe that was it. Okay, so housing. Let's get a home built here. This should solve the housing problem. This house, this house right here. Yes, that housing problem solved. And we only need five planks. So let's watch as this gets built here. We need three planks. Looking good. This will be awesome. There's much more to do to make this uh, productive for us, but it's great to get one of our own resources going. Let's say we've got an iron ore thing here. I'll have to find uh, really some clay. Come on, one more. Yes, now build, build, build. Let's do it, do it. Beautiful. Look at that. Awesome. So with that, I think we're going to leave the, this episode here as the game decides to save. So I would like to thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed this episode of Farthest Frontier here in Stark's Corners, please hit the like button. Um, if you have any suggestions, please leave them down below. And we will see you next time. Bye for now.